what you'll need is a sheet of MDF um, or something similar uh, for the base and some tin foil and PVA glue. So you just put a bit of PVA glue on the back of the tin foil or straight onto the MDF and then place the tin foil on there and just rubbing it with a old paintbrush. Um, doesn't have to be fancy, you can do it with your fingers and just keep on dabbing it and um, smoothing it out. But you want, you want the wrinkles in there because you want that um, to use to highlight with paint and um, different powders. So just crinkle it up, glue it on and um, smooth it out to get that sort of metallic looking effect. Um, just smooth it all out. Next you'll need some sandpaper, just a 60 grit, doesn't really matter, 100 grit. Um, just to smooth out the edges, you can just see here, the edges are all nice and clean, they've just been sanded off, uh, tin foil um, uh, sometimes lifts on the edge there, so just glue it down if it has, uh, it doesn't really matter because the paint will cover any defects. Just glue it all down and uh, reposition it. I'm doing two projects at the same time, uh, one, one of New Zealand and one of the United Kingdom. So uh, that's why I've got two boards. Now I'm just spray painting them um, black, and just a standard black uh, matte spray paint. And just covering the whole board. Just one coat, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to use um, another spray bronze effect spray paint. You can see it coming up here. It's just a metallic, you know, just buy it from your local bunning store. And I just spray a little bit over it just, just to highlight a few areas. It's just a bit more of a brown colour um, so that the black is not so black. And next we have the um, colours that I mix together to get a like a copper pantina and the powders um, silver and bronze and copper paint and that's the finished colour um, after painting with spray paint and now you've got to highlight using those paints and powders. Um, you can just use the paints um, to give a copper effect cantina or you can just use the silver or the bronze or a combination of all of them. I've uh, used a little bit of each in different areas so you just mix the paint colours together until you get a, that greeny bluey pantina colour and um, just, just give them a bit, a bit of white, depending on how much you need, and just sort of rub it into the creases, paint it on, rub it off with a bit of um, cloth, and that just, just you don't have to be too particular. It, um, and you can spray it with a little bit of water, and it will actually go further, and I just got a handy towel there, just a paper towel, and I'm just dabbing it so that the paint stays in the creases but um, it's not on the highlighter bits and I've just put it outside to dry thoroughly before I use the powders to um, highlight the higher bits so just there just rub it on with your finger it goes a long way a little container like that goes a really long way and just rub the excess off with a just a soft cloth and got the copper paint there so I just highlight a little bit as you can see there and it just gives you that metallic effect. Now I'm just, uh, this is the New Zealand, uh, the North and the South Island and there's another little island, um, Stuart Island. I've just made the base out of tin foil and I'll use all these tools to um, shape the air dry clay which I'm using Jovi air dry clay. Um, it seems to work pretty well or DAS, uh, whatever air dry clay you like. And I make the base out of um, tin foil, so it just gives it a bit of structure. And so I, I will just just roll out the clay um, and just spread it over my tin foil, um, which I've 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 cut around. Um, I got a picture of New Zealand off the internet and printed out. Uh, that's just coming up. You'll see it now uh, with all the raised um, areas. It's just like a type as a typographical map. So I know where all the Southern Alps are, where all the mountains are in New Zealand. Little, little bits of excess, you just scrape them off the board and um, put them into a jar with a bit of water and you use that for smoothing out the surface. Uh, you can use a brush or you can use your fingers. 
and that just sort of smooths things out. Uh, you can call it slip, you can call it whatever you like, but um, I'm using a little brush now to give it a bit of texture through the high, higher bits, um, the mountain ranges uh, throughout the North Island there, just an old toothbrush, uh, it's quite good. And that will help, well, once it's been painted, that will help collect the bits of uh, copper and bronze powder into the recesses and I use a little bit of cinnamon too to give it a gusty effect so that that's quite good just a little bit of Mod Podge and um, or any other type of glue PVA glue will be fine and there I am making the South Island so um, you're just forming all the different bits just trying to keep it the same uh, in proportion as the picture and just molding it and uh, smoothing it out and then adding all the the mountain ranges through the South Island there as well. Just making sure the proportions are all correct before you um, put it on the, the board. So just putting those in there and then you use the uh, slip to just smooth those to join the, the bits of clay onto the other bits of clay. And there you can see the finished items it's been dried out um, I sometimes put it in the oven or I just leave it out in the sun and it dries quite quickly and you can see where the brush strokes of you know the brushes made imprints on the high spots I've painted that black now and uh, you can see the cinnamon there and the Mod Podge and there's bits of brown and um, orange that I use just to highlight just mix a couple of colors together so that's not a jet black, um, it's a little bit too harsh, so you just sort of tone it down. It's a really good base colour. You can just tone it down with the brown. Just rub the excess off so it stays in all the cracks. It's probably quite hard to see there. And there I have it, I've got the silver uh, powder. And just highlight that, rub it off, and that gives a bit more of a, a pewtery sort of look. It's a sporter. And the bronze gives obviously a bronze look. So there's a bit of silver paint, I'll use that to highlight. Just brush over the top of the mountain ranges and just to highlight things. Just leave uh, here. I am putting the Mod Podge on, and then I sprinkle a little bit of the cinnamon on there, and that just gives it a little rusty sort of element the added texture. You don't need a lot, it sticks quite, quite easily, it's very really fine cinnamon. And you just sprinkle it on where you think you need it and just rub the excess off with a brush. Comes off. And then once I've done all that I, I give it a coat of um, Mod Podge just to seal it and you can see there it's got this uh, metallic effect. You can have it shiny, you can have it um, matte, but there's close up. You can see where the um, cinnamon's gone into the crevices and where the paint and the bronze powders and stuff have um, uh, added texture. These are like these are little, um, I don't know, things that I'm going to put in the corner of my picture and also the little words of the different seas and oceans around both the United Kingdom and the in New Zealand. That's the flags, I've made those um, and uh, the compasses, whatever you wish to call those, uh, and little buttons and coins and little bits and pieces and little words that I've just done in a very similar way. Um, Use the same, the north, south, east and west is made out of air dry clay. The frame around the maps uh, the flag, sorry, not the maps, are uh, just made out of air dry clay and these little coins. I've just gone to an antique shop and got some English coins and some New Zealand coins and just formed the little words out of um, just wire and these little um, silver fern and the tiki and the kiwi are symbols of New Zealand and on the United Kingdom one I have the rose, a daffodil, a thistle, and um, what's it? Oh, the four leaf clover for the different parts of the United Kingdom. So, there we have a, a bit more of a finished item, and I've highlighted um, with Pantina and paint. 
and I've got a couple of frames um, so I've got two frames that are exactly the same so I've put my projects into there and just sealed the back with some tape and I've hung them on the wall using some chains and uh, that's my project thank you for watching <laughs>